Okay, just got our Starlink today. We're in Central Washington. Just opened the box for the first time. Oops, I'll take that. <laughs> Let's see. So excited. Alright. So we have a pretty simplistic poster. I have Thank two. You. So it's a pretty nice case. Wow. And then, uh, so they have the tripod base for the dish. Looks like so we have the main power supply to the power supply. Router it has an auxiliary port. So it has an RJ45 connection. You see that? I think that'll go to your switch or something if you have it hooked up. And the rest of the device is kind of a squarish rectangle, but double tripod triangle shape with an indicator light. Let those and a black cable goes to the dish, which is the PP POE LOE that RJ45 already connected. They said that's supposed to be 100 foot, so that looks like probably about 100 feet. Another separator. Then we have Dishy. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Smooth white surface. I've seen a video of the, this, someone actually took one of these apart, cut into pieces, and analyzed all the different chipsets on it. It's pretty involved. So it looks like it comes in kind of the vertical position. It's for shipping, probably, to make it fit in the box, of course. And then we'll take it outside. So I'll set up. Oh, there's an instruction manual. So, regulatory notices. Wow, that's a lot. All the different languages, of course. So just each small rectangle is in each language. Just specifications, negative 30 centigrade to plus 40 centigrade, or negative 22 Fahrenheit to 104 Fahrenheit. For the dish, power supply, is plus 10 centigrade to plus 30, or plus 50 degrees to plus 86 Fahrenheit. So it does look like the power supply and the router both need to be indoors, not outdoors. And I don't think there's anything else in the box. Packaging materials. Okay, we'll take it outside and hook it up come back when it's all working so cut. all right I got the dish outside I haven't plugged it in yet but I just want to do a little more video of it for anybody that had any curious I was curious about how the dish looks like the tripod has holes for some sort of mounting um, there's the back where it goes in self-leveling I don't know if it twists or how it works but the cable is part of the housing looks like so I don't know if you could pry that open and take it apart they recommend not to and some sort of big resistor or something or noise canceling filter I'm guessing so this is the dish and see how kind of thin and big it is and we'll go power it on and see how it looks once it's powered on make sure it's away from the edge far enough to rotate the more northerly 
view. I think I need to do like this. So, all right, we'll see what happens after I power it up. Okay, we're gonna plug it in. Excuse my messy house, but plug it in and see what happens. So I'm guessing this will this light will probably start lighting up eventually. This probably has there's some lights, both white on the power brick. And there's the light on the router. Let's see what the dish is doing. The dish hasn't moved yet. Some other things I've read and watched that it takes up to about 10 minutes for the dish to start orienting and aligning accordingly. So I won't make you suffer through watching bring the dish to move. I assume the lights will continue to change and do things for a bit. So I'll come back when something has changed. All right, well, that was only about 30 seconds, and the dish just went straight horizontal. So I presume it's starting to scan now for the, dish, the satellites. We're doing its GPS coordinating to tell it where its location is. I did check, and my sky is perfectly clear all the way in the direction that the app asked me to scan including to my roof line and even that tree so there's no obstructions at all anywhere for this um, depending on how much since it is to the edge of the rail and such but just is still just initial setup just received this within the hour and setting up here and once it's working i'll try the satellite app dish maybe i'll do that next on my phone just to see what this looks like so well uh Lights all look like they're green, so we'll see what the app says. Okay, I have configured it on my phone to connect to the satellite Wi-Fi and renamed my Wi-Fi for the satellite and given it a password. And the app says connected, just waiting for the internet to improve for connectivity. So once that's up and running, I will do a speed test and we'll see what it tells me. So... We're still waiting for it to do all of its background stuff, so I'll come back when I've when that's working. Say action. Action. Okay, so we got the dish set up and it tilted about, it's not 45 degrees, it's probably more like 60, um, but just exactly about the way that I would say lining up on it, it's probably a little right of where the, it showed like the best optimal way, so it's a little bit more east probably more due north I would say than kind of how the app showed a little bit more northwest so but I did a couple speed tests on it and speed tests were between 80 to 115 for download upload speed was around 10 15k or meg so it wasn't really a ton but it was definitely way better than anything other options so two thumbs up so far so we'll see how it goes from here just a quick follow-up um, Apparently, using the app, you have a stow option that will put the satellite more back into the straight up and down vertical position like it shipped. So you can put it back in the box, which is awesome because if it's hot windy or if you need to take it down for a while for whatever reason, it lets you do that. So that's kind of a nice feature I didn't know they had. So I put it in stow and I'm going to try and take it out to our property where we live, um, where we're moving to here in another couple months. So that's the main reason we got it, because as you can see, we're still in town, but we're moving very soon. So timing was perfect, because we need to have this, hopefully, as soon as we get out there. So I'll take it out there and see how it works. It's about 14 miles south of here, so may or may not work. We'll keep our fingers crossed. All right, guys, see you later.